So did Lori Harvey not see that parked car? And then why did she decide to do a take K the race? when I guess addressed about this whole situation, honey. We gonna talk about all of this, but before we do, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with sister girl right now, okay? I'm like, is she the next Cassie? You know, she did split with, um, with Diddy, but it's just like, What's going on with this whole situation, y'all? Like, I just, I kind of feel like over the past, I guess, I don't know. Like, you know, when we've been seeing her in the media recently, it's like, okay, she's with Diddy. She's not with Diddy. Prior to that, she was just with a whole bunch of different people from what we've seen in the media. I don't know if she was with those people in a relationship, but it seemed like Sister Girl got a lot going on. So let's talk about this whole her deciding to hit a parked car and then you know do the dash do the race okay like say k hey, this is just wild so i'm on yahoo entertainment y'all and i had to come to y'all with this because i said what is going on what here not only okay so they say lori harvey basically was taken in in um what they claim was a, a hit in a dash situation they say all this happened after her uh rumor split from diddy and this is by claudia harmata posted october the 21st 2019 and they say laurie excuse me i said larry laurie harvey was taken in on sunday after you know they they claim honey that she hit a parked car and she attempted to flee the scene now that is so irresponsible like if you tap or if you just you know make a mistake own up to it you feel me like that's just so crazy that you you know your parents being who your parents are steve harvey you know i guess having his whole you know former talk show host and you know radio host you know he got a lot of stuff going on books and stuff people know who you are okay then her mom you know has her successful type of stuff that she has on social media and other stuff too so i don't know why she would be irresponsible and just if this is the case decide to not just take ownership and then didn't we just hear that she had got a new car for like a birthday gift or like a i don't know like she split from diddy before and she got a, a a new type of car or whatever that was supposedly supposed to be expensive and this is the type of stuff that's going on i don't understand but a part of me is like i don't understand why she would want to date somebody you know uh this diddy's age but then a part of me is like mm, being in that industry honey them folks and they offspring they got to get to work now that's just you know my personal opinion i ain't gonna say no more now they say people confirm with the beverly hills policia they department honey that the family feud host Steve Harvey's stepdaughter was involved in a motor vehicle collision into a parked car and that she was basically identified y'all by a witness who saw her walking away from the scene. Wow. So basically, <laughs> they say that the authorities told people that Lori's car was found on its side next to the parked vehicle that she basically, I guess they, she collided into on Marino Drive in Los Angeles and that she was basically taken a short distance away. Like when they picked her up, they found her like a short distance away. And then they said she was taken in and released at the scene uh, without, you know, physical booking. And basically she got, you know, a miss, you know, like how they say, Missy Elliott, Miss Zami you know so she got a citation they claim and basically they say okay was the first to report on the situation but there were no injuries reported so that's a good thing but how did your car get on the side child so they say according to e Lori's, you know her being taken in comes just days after her split from diddy and they say a source close to the rapper 
So, <laughs> I just don't really see Diddy as a rapper, but I guess you could say he's a rapper. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know, why they couldn't just say mogul? Like, he's he's done so much. Like, rapper is just not enough to, like, explain to me Diddy. But if you're going to go for it, go for it. Though. To me, I more so see him as a mogul than I do a rapper. Because the rap, I think he said it was other people rapping for him. And then... I just I, I just see him more as a businessman and a mogul and a CEO type of person more than a rapper. But anywho, um, a source close to the rapper told the outlet that the rapper is not ready to be in a committed relationship. Okay, if you know maybe Lori could be you know going through it because a lot of women go through it when they you know get with somebody and they think that they're going to ride off into the sunset and be cute together and that ends up not happening but i mean diddy didn't marry the person who he said was the love of his life which was kim um he's had several you know i think he has another um child's mother too i forget the lady name but she's like a, a fat ain't she like a fashion designer or a stylist or something like that but none of these women did he marry so it's like what made you think it was gonna get to you and change this is i'm telling y'all she about to be the next cassie if she don't wake up real quick okay because cassie was like i'm tired of being your unofficial girl for years and she just was like i'm done with this i'm gonna get me a husband i don't have time for this afro men honey not all not all but some they will play them games until they are senior citizen age and still be talking about they ain't ready to settle down with nobody. And she's too young. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all need to check out that podcast that I have up um, about Snoop Dogg and him using Gucci Mane and Keisha Kayor and saying that women got to be riders. Women have to start putting their best interests first, okay? Stop allowing these men to play games with you and then say, you know, they're they're taking you out on dates. They're partaking in your, your physical, your temple, okay? And then when you're like, okay, well, where are we going from here? They're like, okay, well, you knew what it was. So they're psychologically trying to play games and stuff like that. But honestly, she needs to, I feel like, you know, live her best life. She's young. She's uh, beautiful. I mean, anybody would, you know, want to be with her, okay? But in that industry, it's just unfortunate. Like, that's, you know, those women, and I'm not talking about just her, but I'm saying, like, they move from entertainer to entertainer, and that's typically what happens with that. Like, I don't know if it'd be for the clout or they trying to find, you know, everybody is not going to land no Steve Harvey. And especially not with, you know, them folks like Diddy and those type of uh, mogul type of dudes. They got, you know, millions. She's pretty, but imagine how many women that are prettier that they have at their disposal or honey, the other team. Okay. So they say that last Thursday, people reported that the model had unfollowed Diddy on Instagram, although she is still following Christian and Justin, his sons. As of Monday, the music mogul and his two sons... See, now they use a music mogul. But I guess, you know, due to journalism, they wanted to use different words. Whatever. And they're still following Lori. So Lori and Diddy, you know, who's 49, dude is 50 years old. I don't understand what he want with a 22-year-old. Like, some men, honey, some men, honey. They sparked dating rumors over the summer. Uh, after they were spotted strolling around New York City, wearing matching outfits, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they say on October 11th, Diddy was spotted going to dinner with another woman in Los Angeles who was later identified as Gemini Man actress Nicole, Nicole Oliveira by Bossa. The music mogul's son, Christian, and said his father and Lori were doing good. They're good. They're just being private. So, this man is dating somebody that's basically his son's age. Because his son, Christian, is 21, they said in the article. And as y'all can see, it's getting dark outside. Because I'm getting ready to, you know, go to my little night classes. Or whatever. But, yeah. This whole situation, y'all, to me, 
I think she needs to, she's young, you know, she have her best years of fertility. I think she need to just, just end it. I mean, live your best life. I guess, you know, it is perks if you want to say, okay, you was, you dated somebody that's a mogul like Diddy, but you've done it already. So it's like, dude is not probably, he's not going to marry you. It's probably a slew of women and, you know, we don't know what else could be going on, honey. But, um, you know, the rumors, the rumors, the rumors. But I think that she just needs to, I guess, take some time, maybe clear her head. Because something is going on if you hit and park cars and then, you know, deciding to just flee the scene. Knowing that your parents are celebrities and knowing that they was not going to let that fly. What are y'all's thoughts about this? This King Brittany Chanel, you already know. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Come shop with me now at my Teespring store, King Brittany Chanel Couture. I provide custom apparel and so much more for an affordable price. We have items like leggings, t-shirts, and hoodies. So thank you for shopping and I hope that you enjoy. Hey honeys, thank you for watching my video. And if you haven't, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture where you can find my latest merch. I upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video